Hello everyone, this video is about one specific report, the performance by channel report, which can tell you a lot about how people are sharing, clicking, or where your referral purchases are coming from. So let's take a look at that report in the platform. Once you get in, uh, it's under reports, and then one of the reports is called performance by channel. You can set a specific time period filter, you can use specific traffic sources if you, for example, only want to see the numbers from a specific email blast you sent. You can see only from mobile or only for desktop if you say no. And then campaign filters, you can filter for a specific campaign as well. Um, so once we get to it, the first is advocate performance. Um, and so that will be the percentage of advocate shares. So you'll see by different sharing channels. So in this case, we have the five different sharing channels, email, Facebook post, Facebook Messenger, direct link, meaning someone copied the link and, and posted it somewhere, um, an SMS, which would only be on mobile. Facebook Messenger is actually only on desktop, so um, that's one thing to keep in mind if you're looking at it combined. Then you'll see the numbers of unique shares, so individuals who are sharing from via these different channels. Uh, what that is is a percentage. So in this scenario, you can see that Facebook post and, and email are the two top sharing channels. And then you can see the absolute number of shares. So let's say someone sh shared more than once, um, then that would count to count as two. So you can see here that there are obviously many more shares via email than, than the unique shares, uh, since actually the shares per share is 1.8. So people are on average almost always sharing with two different email addresses. You can see here on the pie chart as well um, for for a visual that 39% of shares come from um, come come from email uh, followed by followed by Facebook. Then looking at the friend side, uh, the first one is is looking at clicks specifically, so percentage of friend clicks from the different sharing channels, um, and also in relation to each other. So. Uh, in this scenario, we can see on the pie chart that Facebook by far is the is the main driver of clicks and gets on average, as you can see over here, offer clicks per share, um, 17, actually almost 18 clicks per share, which is really high. That's also driving up that total average, which is close to seven. Versus if we look at email, um, email only, that's um, 0.44, so 44%. Um, of, of clicks from from uh, from each email share um, so a lot lower that's usually expected when you're sharing uh, on Facebook or when you're sharing a direct link for example on a blog or elsewhere that tends to see higher click rates compared to the email the SMS or, or the more one-to-one -one communications scrolling down we'll see a similar picture for 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 visits um, in this case you can see that the um, that the distribution between the different channels are relatively similar. Uh, in, in this case, email specifically are taking, are taking over, followed, followed by Facebook, uh, but, but all the challenge are represented compared to, besides um, the Facebook Messenger is relatively small. And then lastly, looking at your conversions, your purchases, where are they coming from? You can then see that here, email um, is taking over the most of the purchases that you're actually getting. Most of the new sales you're getting um, are from email sharing, um, even though the Facebook took over from, from the clicks. And you'll see a similar picture in the bottom uh, from, from, a dollar, from a dollar amount, if, if that would be needed. I hope this was helpful. If you have any specific questions regarding the performance by channel report, of course, feel free to, to reach out and, uh, and let us know.